In this video, we will show you how to install and calibrate the Pro Fuel Level Sensor from Reptella. This sensor can be connected to all Reptella devices, except Plug 4. Go to the webpage doc.reptella.lt slash display slash ab slash fls and download FLS Configurator. You will need this on the computer you will use for the installation. Take the FLS out of the box. Assemble the configuration cable together with the RS-232 converter and connect it to your computer. Connect FLS configuration cable to 12 to 30 volts direct current power supply and power it on. Upon successful connection of FLS, configurator will ask to read FLS configuration. You may need to install RS-232 converter drivers. You can find RS-232 converter drivers at the same webpage. If you are using Device Center to configure device, set up the mandatory parameters like APN, IP, and engine detection. Next step is to enable port A and port B. To do this, select peripherals and interfaces and switch tumblers near serial port A and B. Fuel sensors is the default option, so no more changes needed. After this is done, don't forget to send configuration to the device. Once the FLS is successfully connected to the computer and the device has been configured, you are ready to go to the installation place. Before you go to the installation place, please make sure that you have all the tools and equipment required to install the fuel level sensor. You will find a detailed list of tools and equipment in the description of this video. Begin with inspecting fuel tank, checking how you can drain fuel. As you can see in this case, there is anti-fuel drain protection on this tank. To drain fuel, we will have to use FLS installation hole. Then inspect if geometrical center of tank is not occupied with original equipment or inner tank walls at drilling point. Mark the cutting area. It is recommended that it would be in the center of the tank. Prepare cutting area by removing any excess dirt on it. Drill a hole with 38 mm saw at slight angle. Remove metal shavings carefully, making sure that they don't fall in the tank. Remove leftover circle with screwdriver. Start draining all fuel from the fuel tank. we can start to prepare FLS for installation. Screw the flange on the FLS pipe and secure it tightly. Insert the assembled probe into the fuel tank and measure the distance from the flange to the fuel tank. When removing tube from tank, wipe off any excess fuel from it. Mark measurement distance first. Then add an additional 4.5 centimeters to find the cutting distance and mark it.
Cut the probe at the marked length using a tube cutting tool. Do not cut the cord. Do not attempt putting on FLS cap before filing the edges. Polish the probe edges with a file. Insert the cap onto the end of the probe. Pull on the cord while pressing on the cap. Make sure the cord is tight. Tie the cord around the cap. Cut the remaining cord as close to the cap as possible. Insert the cap end into the probe. Tap on the probe with a finger. If you feel vibration, it means the cord is tight and has been tied correctly. Insert the O-ring into the measurement head. Put the measurement head on the probe. Mark the flange where is cable position after securing it tightly. Insert the probe into the tank and point the signal cable towards where it will be going out. Note the position of the signal cable on the flange. Make a marking 45 degrees counterclockwise from the cable. If you miss this step, the FLS wires will be facing a random direction after the installation. Route the 7 meters extension cable to the cabin. Avoid places that might get hot while the vehicle is running. For example, the exhaust pipe. Prepare the FLS cables for connection. Orange wire, RS232RX, and pink wire, RS232TX. Remove the insulation of the wire and twist wire ends so they are more firm. Do the same from the FM device side. Orange wire, RS232TX, and yellow wire, RS232RX. Now, connect the FLS wires and FM wires together. FLS pink wire, RS232TX, to FM device side orange wire, RS232TX. and FLS orange wire, RS232RX, to FM device yellow wire, RS232RX. Use the insulation tape to secure wire connections. Prepare red power supply and black ground power cables for connection from the FLS side. Use wire with fuse to connect FLS red power supply cable to power supply. Connect the cables together and insulate them with tape.
Connect FM device and FLS black wires ground together. Use the insulation tape to secure wire connections. Connect fused red power wire to FM device red power wire. Cut in the FM device side red power wire insulation and strip some area to make connection. Use the insulation tape to secure wire connections. Use an external power supply to power the measurement head. Connect the measurement head to your computer. Open the FLS configurator. Select your FLS type and then select the COM port. Click Connect. Check the FLS connection status. It should be connected. Set the output data width to 12 bits. Before starting the installation, set the data averaging to 8 samples. Then click Send CFG to upload the configuration to the FLS. Fill a tank or tub with enough fuel to submerge the probe. Submerge the probe fully into the tank. Take out the probe while holding the FLS in the air. Let fuel drip out for 15 seconds. Do not put the probe down before continuing configuration and calibration. For the next step, hold the probe by the wires. Make sure pipe does not touch anything. Go to the calibration section. Go to the dry calibration section. While holding the probe, click the calibrate button. Once again, Make sure the probe is not touching anything. Once the calibration is complete and configuration uploaded, the sensor can be installed. Remove the measurement head. Prepare the area around the hole for installation. Clean it and add thin layer of silicone around the edges. Add a thin layer of silicone on both sides of the flange gasket. Insert the flange gasket onto the flange. Insert the probe into the tank. Position the flange according to the previously made markings. Screw in the flange bolts using a cordless drill. Finish screwing in the bolts by hand to avoid screwing the bolts too tightly.
clean the excess silicone after finishing installation. Run a security sill wire through the small holes on the flange. Use closest holes clockwise from signal cable. This is to ensure that the FLS cannot be unscrewed. Then, screw the measurement head back into the pipe. Connect the head to the computer using calibration cable and power up the head using external power supply. Perform fuel tank tethering, starting with an empty tank. Go to the real-time data section. Check the in value of the sensor, should be less than 50. Assign it to zero liters. Add known amount of fuel and check the in value again. For accurate results, add fuel 10 to 20 times. The maximum in value should be around 3,600. Enter the calibration table into your tracking software. Before finishing the installation, set the data averaging to 64 samples. Click on Send CFG to upload the configuration to the FLS. Make a loop around the signal cable with the seal wire. Run the seal wire through the holes in the seal and tighten the seal. After fixing seal, cut the excess seal wire. Guide a security seal wire through an opening on the cable connector. Make several loops around the signal cable connector with the seal. Guide the seal wire through the holes on the seal and tighten the seal. After fixing seal, cut the excess seal wire. Check with back office that the fuel data is being received before leaving the installation facility. Congratulations, your installation was successful.